How you doing YouTube? This is Chris Miso here and we're going to talk about Nvidia's new 40 series card. But first and foremost, I do want to mention the availability for graphics card is here. You're able to purchase any Nvidia graphics card of your choosing, a 30 series card, anywhere you want. Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, even from the actual retailer's website if you want to buy it from EVGA or ASUS. It can be done. So that is great news for the GPU side. The availability is here. If you followed the whole GPU market since the beginning, when Nvidia released the 30 series cards back in September of 2020, then you know how hard it was to get your hands on one throughout the last two years. Recently, this uptick just started happening back of April of 2022, where you started to see the availability, the influx finally started coming in. So with the cryptocurrency crashing, it did help the influx, but we're not here to talk about the 30 series card and the availability. But what I do want to talk to you about is Nvidia's brand new 40 series cards and what we can expect out of it. What kind of specs, what are the release dates and what kind of price are we facing when Nvidia does decide to release their cards? The great news is I do have a ton of news for you, fam bam, that are looking to purchase a new graphics card. If you're planning to do a upgrade or a brand new PC build, wait till you hear everything I have to say about Nvidia's new 40 series. First, we gotta thank the known leaker Copite for Kimmy for sharing all the details that he can with us. And we also gotta thank Moore's Law is Dead because he also released some very interesting information about Nvidia's 40 series. I do want to go over the specifications that are currently going on in the rumor mill for Ada Lovelace. So for NVIDIA's 4070, we can expect CUDA cores of 7,168, SMs of 56, VRAM of 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 18 gigabytes per second, memory bus of 192 bit for NVIDIA's flagship card, the RTX 4080, what it will feature. CUDA cores of 10,240, SMs 80, VRAM of 16 gigabytes at GDDR6 at 18 gigabytes per second, memory bus of 256 bit. For the most powerful card for RTX's 4090, it will feature CUDA cores of 16,834, SMs of 128. For the VRAM, it'll be 24 gigabytes at GDDR6X at 24 gigabytes per second, memory bus of 384 bit. The only specifications that are missing is exactly how much TDP does it feature, how much power draw will these cards actually require. The reason why I didn't list it yet is because it's actually still pretty unknown. The biggest rumor, they're already talking about the RTX 4090 Ti. It might need at least 800 watts to 900 watts to power up that beast. It is a bit overkill. I, I don't really see it that way. I did mention this a little bit earlier. I forget exactly which video it was, but if you follow graphics cards closely, and if you notice, most graphics card now are PCI Express 4.0 by 16. And we don't really even utilize the full usage of PCI Express 4.0, let alone PCI Express 3.0. For that kind of power draw, I feel like it's a little bit overkill for most people because we don't even utilize as much speed as we should out of PCI Express. But you never know, maybe Adib Lovelace will unlock something and maybe it'll be something that'll be a game changer. Will it do something to revolutionize the whole PC gaming market or the PC uh, content creators use? Another thing is that because of the power that it actually needs and how powerful that these new cards actually are, it may require up to three to three and a half bays to be available of your PC case. Some PC cases can't even fit up to three to three and a half uh, bays. Reason why it needs that much space because they will install a bigger heatsink and it will have improved cooling, which will have larger triple fans for your graphics card. Moore's Law is Dead also stated the RTX 4090 Ti may require AIBs are preparing four and a half slot coolers right now for undisclosed NVIDIA products. Already case makers are adjusting their designs to support these monsters. Not only are the RTX 40 series cards just hungry beast and pretty powerful, but on top of that, they are larger and will require much more power. So if you are looking to upgrade, make sure that you have all your specifications ready, maybe even updating your power supply. I know there are some power supply makers out there. I believe Gigabyte was one of them that already created these new generation power supplies where they do support up to PCI Express 5.0 uh, power. It looks like a little bit larger because it is gonna be more available, especially on 
Intel's 12th generation that has already been produced and AMD's new processors, which will soon be released. Their motherboards will also feature PCI Express 5.0 which many people will be trying to take advantage of. Another thing that on the side though, that I'm very excited to see to be released soon is the whole uh, NVMe 5.0, because we would love to take advantage of these speeds. Most importantly, you guys want to know exactly what kind of price will we be facing when it comes to Nvidia's 40 series. Copilot did specifically say, don't expect to see any lower pricing. So more than likely, it's probably going to stay the same price or even higher. And the reason why I say higher is if you haven't been out to the grocery store or you haven't pumped any gas in your vehicle, you will notice that there is quite an inflation going on with this uh, current economy right now. So more than likely, I do expect this step up on price. If you followed the RTX 30 series when it was first released, the RTX 3080 was $699.99, which really isn't a bad price, especially for what it offered. I am expecting RTX 4080 to be priced a little bit more. More than likely, I'm expecting around $749.99. And that's because of inflation. For everybody who is out there probably complaining about the prices of GPUs, you do not want the prices that we saw in the last couple of years. That was way worse than it is now. Just be happy that this will be available in the market and more than likely it will be more obtainable. But I don't see graphics card selling out as quick as it did with the 30 series because of the whole influx of people purchasing it just because of how high cryptocurrency was for that upcoming year. I doubt you're going to see the same exact reaction when it comes to these 40 series cards. Don't get me wrong, you'll have people that will still try to purchase 40 series cards just to scalp them. That will happen but it won't be as crazy as it was with the 30 series, in my opinion. And when can we exactly expect the release of these 40 series cards? It already has been two years since Nvidia had released their 30 series cards. More than likely, Nvidia will announce these 40 series cards between September or October of 2022. When they do announce these new cards, more than likely they will be able to purchase of November of 2022. Maybe even a little earlier, maybe October 22. But if there is any sort of delay, then more than likely we can expect these cards to be released in quarter one of 2023. We have an idea of the specifications, we should say, because again, don't take everything with a grain of salt because we do not know exactly what they actually do offer until NVIDIA officially announces the specs because they can change the specs at any time or at any given will that they so choose to. Same thing when it comes to release dates and pricing. This is a good, accurate assumption. What can we expect of NVIDIA's 40 series? I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you know anyone else who is interested in building PCs or wants to know more information about NVIDIA's 40 series cards, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you aren't part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan band, guys, what do you think of NVIDIA's new 40 series cards? Does it excite you? Will you go out and purchase one? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Bezo signing out.